Yo guys, welcome back to another video on Michigan Sports Talk. And in this one, we got a big Michigan football recruiting video for you guys. Can be going over all latest news and updates, including some new predictions going in Michigan's favor to land some recruits. Also going to be touching up on how Nicholas Harbour's visit went over the weekend. And we're going to be going over much more in this video. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button, leave a like for more. And other than that, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Alright, so E.J. Holland of the Wolverine put in two predictions for Michigan. We will go ahead and look at the not-so-big one, and that one is rising 2024 offensive lineman Blake Frazier uh, from Texas. He's actually on campus for an unofficial visit. Over the weekend, he's currently not ranked on 24-7 sports or on three. He's a rising prospect though, and he has a strong re relationship with offensive line coach Sharon Moore. He is 6'6", 250 pounds. Right now, it's mainly between Texas A&M and Michigan. But according to the recruiting prediction machine, Michigan has a 96.7% chance to land him. Now, the next one is a big one. E.J. Holland put in a prediction for 2023. Interior offensive lineman Nathan Afobi comes from Georgia. We talked about him in some previous recruiting videos, but on 24-7 sports, he is ranked number 454th nationally in 24-7 sports composite rankings. However, on the on-3 rankings, he is ranked 128th nationally and is put at as a four star he is 6'4 282 pounds according to the recruiting prediction machine michigan has a 92.4 percent chance to land him now he actually uh made his first ever trip to ann arbor for the maryland game he said going to ann arbor was a great experience so the big house is massive he said the players know this is a family they're all brothers michigan just seems like a good place to be and right now as it stands uh he said michigan is at the top uh, referring to his recruitment and he just said it was an incredible experience uh, visiting during the Maryland game. He's also looking to return to Michigan for an official visit later. Uh, Miami, NC State, and Penn State are also in the mix for him. Miami probably one of the bigger threats from keeping a phobie away from Michigan. But uh, yeah, that's the latest on Nathan Afobi, the top or one of the top on 300. Um, so next thing we'll go ahead and talk about uh, some of you guys probably clicked on this video for this reason and uh, it is five-star athlete Nicholas Harbour and how his visit went as he just visited Michigan over the weekend during the Maryland game according to the Wolverine Harbour felt the love in Michigan Stadium and enjoyed the overall atmosphere of the game even though it wasn't a dominant win over Maryland now Nicholas Harbour was spotted with wide receivers coach um, Ron Bellamy. People say that Nicholas Harbour uh, may want to play offense and stick on the offensive side uh, in college just to maintain his weight uh, for track because he will be playing track wherever he goes and uh, he does have goals of making the Olympics for track so I mean he is a freak athlete wherever he goes he's going to be very good not only on the football field but also uh, for track. Now, Michigan definitely laid out the red carpet for him during the visit. He spent time with uh, Michigan legends like Denard Robinson, Charles Woodson before the game and uh, during his time there. Now, Harbour and his family is looking for a school to go for football, track, and academics. Michigan checks all the boxes off, especially for academic. Uh, LSU, South Carolina, also really in the mix, uh, especially South Carolina because he just went on a visit to South Carolina two weekends ago. LSU and Maryland still have official visits with him. Um, and according to E.J. Holland of the Wolverine, he said that Harbor doesn't plan to make a decision until later in the, in the process, which means this recruitment is going to carry out all the way to the very end, to December or beyond. And he put it a good way by saying this is a marathon not a sprint. So Michigan has done a good job by staying in his recruitment. Also worth mentioning, Harbor's father is a NASA engineer, while his mother is also a pharmacist, so they really take academics into consideration. So that is the latest on Nicholas Harbor. Be so, so huge for Michigan to get him, but his official visit went good here at Michigan, and uh, he looks pretty dang good in those white tops and blue 
uh, pants that Michigan wears on the road. It's also worth mentioning that Sunday was a big day for him uh, and the Michigan staff as Jim Harbaugh and the whole staff got to talk to him a lot more on Sunday after the game. So uh, Michigan's still very much in play for Nicholas Harbour and like I said it's it's a marathon not a sprint. So with that being said, we still got a couple things to cover here, but if you guys made it this far, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like if you are enjoying, and subscribe for more. But the next thing I want to talk about is an update on 2023 cornerback Chris Peel from Providence Day High School. One of Jaden Davis's teammates, obviously Jaden Davis, the five-star quarterback in the 2024 class. But right now, Georgia has four crystal ball predictions going in Chris Peel's recruitment and uh, it's not looking good for Michigan. Recruiting prediction machine says that Georgia has a 95.6% chance to land him. Now he did just recently visit Michigan uh, last weekend for the UConn game and I uh, had a very good visit. He really liked it. Um, obviously the main thing that has been talked about in this recruitment is how Michigan could potentially have a chance to land Chris Peel because Georgia already has three top 200 cornerbacks committed in this cycle. However, when asked about if that is a factor in his recruitment, he imme immediately responded with no. But Michigan's still going hard on him uh, for the 2023 class. It'll be a huge get uh, for them, but right now it seems to be all Georgia uh, in his recruitment. But Michigan is going to keep going after him until he finally makes a decision and then the last thing we are going to wrap this video up is four star tight end michigan commit deacon tony Yelly in the 2023 class obviously hails from illinois and uh, he remains locked in with his decision uh, to go to michigan on the wolverine it said i'm still solid like i've said before it's the place to be the people there are amazing i love every single one of them getting the highest level of education is such a big thing for me as well then on michigan season so far he said they were coming out hot he said i love the star it's also been cool seeing some of the guys that i was with on my visit getting some time he also talked about jj mccarthy uh another chicago land native he said jj is that guy he's been having fun that quarterback job was such a hard battle and he said it's been great seeing him thrive dick and tony elliott plans to get back to michigan for another game next month but it's pretty safe to say that he's not going anywhere and uh, he's loving michigan's solid start to the season and it's safe to say that michigan having success this season is only going to help uh michigan football recruiting talked about michigan potentially stealing recruits from notre dame's 2023 recruiting class and that is still in play michigan definitely has a chance to really close out the 2023 recruiting class and gain some early momentum in the 2024 class with uh, how good they do in this 2022 football season. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like. I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more. If you are new, you might as well go ahead, subscribe. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys turn on that post notification bell so you never miss any videos on the channel. And with that being said, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.